Uh, in this video, I would like to show you uh, how to uh, do easy map georeferencing in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, I will be using uh, this map uh, from uh, Nation Park, Czech uh, Switzerland, located uh, near Czech German border. Uh, this map is a print screen from the mapv.cz map portal. Uh, the nation park is located here. Uh, and I am using the outdoor map with the tourist, uh, tourist trails. So, I need a print screen and now I would like to georeference it into my GIS. So, what do I need? Uh, at first, uh, I need a base map with known uh, coordinates. Uh, so, it's easy. I just go to base maps. Uh, I choose our national base map. <clears throat> or if I would like to georeference the map into other coordinate system like the WGS, uh, I can choose, uh, let's say, this topographic map. We just check what coordinate system is set. So, and if you would like to use another one, because now this is our national, check national coordinate system, you can switch to WGS Web Market. If it's not in the favorites, we just type here Web Mercator and S appears here so I can choose it. Okay. <clears throat> so here I can see the basic structure of, of roads, which I will be using for the georeferencing roads. So now I will add the map in my project oh, sorry it and the unknown coordinate system uh, warning appears uh, I will make here a bookmark so I can come back to this locality, I call it Rensko National Park. Now I do the right click to Rensko my map to my map, and here I see the map, and you can see that it's somewhere in Finland, which is strange because. We should be in WGS. Okay, again. So now here we go. We are somewhere near Africa, and we have to move the map. Uh, we have to move the map to our location. So uh, I will look for significant crossroads or. Uh, Geometry of the road to use as identical points. Uh, I choose my map. I go to imagery, uh, georeference. The georeference tab will open. And what I do is add control points. So it means now I do I add from point the source. Now I do click bookmark, Jens Connection Park. I'm looking for this road which is here now the map pops in but we have only one point it identified so far so the map is not well georeferenced we need at least two points to get it in a scale so now uh, i choose point number two so i can try to use this significant curve on the road from point and now let's find it in between Visal Kalipa and Yetrichovice. Which is here, the curve is right here. If you click and here comes the map. And you can see 
Now we have two two points and the map fits. Because the map is a digital map. It is a copy of my screen. So there's no sh paper shrinkage or whatever. So two points will just get into the right scale rotation. So if I check it here so you can see that the roots are corresponding. But if he here in the reference pane, if we check the transformation. So even for the first order polynomial, we need at least three control points. The control points should be regularly spaced over our area of interest. So I can go down here to Rujava, which mean which means a pink village. <laughs> and I can choose for instance this. Oh sorry. Uh, I choose here this crossroad which is here. Okay. So now I can check my control point table, so three points. If anything is <coughs> wrong with the points, I can switch or turn on off some, some of the points or I can explore them, save them, import points. I can choose different types of, uh, of transformation, which I can't do now because I don't have that much points. But anyway, now three points are enough for a fine, a fine transformation. So I can go to save. So now is my uh, georeference thing saved. I can go close georeference. Uh, now if I look into the folder, uh, then I can see here that this is my map, Hrensko Nation Park, and here appears a file J jgwx. Uh, which is the georeferencing information for my image. Okay, so that was piece of cake. Now we have another task, uh, and we would like to georeference the map of Istanbul, an old map of Istanbul. So I insert a new map. <clears throat> uh, I add a base map. I can try the open street map. Uh, in bookmarks we can jump to Istanbul. Okay. And here I have old map which I've downloaded from eBay. It's low quality map, but I haven't found any better. So now I'm adding my map. Again, I don't coordinate system. I only check if we are still in the left marketer. Yes, we are. So now we can check it. Again, we are somewhere near Africa. And we have to place Istanbul to its location, which is not easy for me because I don't know the city at all. Okay. So we have to pick the points carefully. What we see here, so this bridge should be still the one existing. So we go to imagery, georeference, <clears throat> add control points. I take this bridge point, my bookmarks, Istanbul. Going here to point target. Okay. <clears throat> and now we have to try to identify some, let's say, important buildings. This one, I don't know what building this is, but I'm sure we can identify it on the map here. It looks like this one. Could be. Okay, I just take the middle of it. Put it here, and let's have a let's see what, what happens. Well, that was not the right one, I guess, or the bridge is wrong. 
Okay. I'll, or it was this one apparently. So now I go to georeference control point table. We uncheck the number two, which is apparently wrong. This one is this. Okay. This look much better now. We can have a closer look here. It looks better, but it's not excellent. <laughs> anyway, but if you know the city, so you know what you are exactly looking for, which I don't know. But this could be this. Now you see that the map becomes tilted. So number three point is not well defined. So Okay, and let's check out this. On the other hand, it can be that the map is that the map is not identical to what we see here. So we have tried to search for some more. Identical. Or just the map is some in some different projection coordinate system, which we cannot fit to the current standards. But okay, let's check out. Here we have the university, or what? What says this map? Istanbul University, which I'm sure. This point here is here. Okay. This point here is here. This point here as here. Now you can see that the points are not being identical because the map is being warped, and it means that we will have to use a higher order transformation in order to get a map properly uh, oriented. So, what else do we have here? This building should be this um, or 
it can be that this map was not drawn properly on a hand because we are missing an uh, identical point somewhere here okay I make guess I see this belongs to here okay so how does it look now you see that the map is like tilt tilted now we can try to choose a different type of transformation second order so you see that now the map fits better but what about this here this nose should get here not nice at all something is wrong in here This one can be this one. Yeah, it could be that this map was not drawn really properly, and that's why the map is being warped so much. But any t anyway, I'm doing my best to reference the map. Okay. This seems to be this. So now we have 11 points, so we can go to the third order polynomial. So now it's not good. <laughs> you can see that the map is somehow warped, but not nice. This is better. You can see that this part could be this or this, which is not very nice. But if you guys know this tumble better than me, then you can apparently do this georeferencing a bit better. So please try to do your best uh, in your exercise so but this is the principle how we should work uh, during our georeferencing okay so thank you for watching and take care